winterize our wardrobes. We protect our plants and animals from the cold. But many times we're forgetting what's right under our noses, the potential for skin cancer even in the winter. Basal cell carcinoma is a very common type of skin cancer, and here in Florida, of course, we're sort of the, one of the world capitals of skin cancer. Between 40 and 50 percent of Americans who live to age 65 will have basal cell carcinoma at least once. Most people get them when they're middle-aged or above in areas that have had skin exposure, like you know, the face, the chest, the arms, those sort of areas there. 2.8 million people are diagnosed with basal cell each year in this country. While it's rarely fatal, the lesions can be highly disfiguring. Close to the eye, close to the ear, close to the nose, or where it required a very large surgical procedure to remove it. 70% of basal cell cancers occur on the head, most commonly our nose. Keeping yourself covered and protecting yourself with sunscreen are the first lines of defense. The next step is to recognize the trouble spots. Sometimes they're flatter and discolored. They don't tend to be things that look like moles. Any area that's not healing that looks discolored at all should probably get checked by a dermatologist. Your dermatologist handles routine treatments that may include freezing or burning the cancer. Leaving them unchecked can lead to deeper problems. Although they have a very small risk of metastasizing, which means moving to another part of the body, they can get invasive and get deeper and bigger. So even in the winter months, it's important to take precautions so you don't get burned. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.